Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're taking a look at a third party transformer. Uh, this is from Fans Hobby and this is Double Agent A, aka Double Dealer. Um, so this guy is uh, kindly lent to the channel by uh, Nathan Webb and um, I think I covered that off in the <clears throat> kind of first, first thoughts type of video just to go through um, on the box and everything else so we won't be going through that this is him in his uh, vehicle mode um, I've been through and transformed him backwards and forwards a couple of times so what we'll do is we'll take a look at this mode we'll transform into his robot then his other robot mode and then into his bird mode and we'll take a look at all the little bits and pieces as we go along um, if it ends up being a bit too long, I might trim it and end up doing it in two parts. So we'll see. So first of all, here he is in his vehicle mode, this kind of missile launcher thing. Um, looks really good. Uh, rubber tires, rolls well. Um, there's a few like different things that you can do with it. So they don't necessarily show you instructions, but you can actually mount the power master onto the back here like that. Um, and there's a little, a couple of little clips for it in here and here, and it just pegs in there. So the best way really is to probably peg in one side, then fold it back over and peg it into the other side. Um, this kind of rocket thing here as well is mounted in. Now it just rests on this little piece here. So it is, it's not the most sturdy connection. If you do tip it upside down, this bit's probably more likely to fall off. There are some like light gimmicks. So if you press this, it shows you in instruction manuals that there's a few different um, like sequences. So effectively, I think, there we go. You kind of got one, which is like a pulsing one. You can see like, kind of does that. And then you hold it down, I think, to turn it off. And then the different sequence then. To turn it back on again. And then there's a thing as well, I think, where if you fold. So it'll keep going unless you kind of turn it off. Uh, the other thing you can do is you split this off and it becomes the gun. You fold it out here. Um, you can see it's not actually lighting up at the moment through that bit here. Um, but if you change the thing that it's doing, it should do. So there you go. So that's more of the one that's through here for the gun. So it's all the different kind of functions and it kind of lights up through here when you do that. And the other thing to show you as well is, I think it's this bit here, which if you flip these bits out like that. And again, this isn't something that shows you instructions, but I think it shows you on their kind of like um, website. So you can flick this bit out here and then it's another place where you can then mount the rocket. So I'll just put this in like that. And then you should be able to line it up with these kind of little notches here, I think. So it does line up with those notches and kind of roughly hold in place. Uh, I think you'd have to kind of lean it at a bit of an angle. Um, I'm, I don't know if I've got that quite right, but there are little kind of notches that are in place there to, to do that. So, yeah, if you have more luck than me, on mine it does seem to sort of like fall out a little bit. So I don't know if you need to get it on a particular angle or I need to move this up a little bit more. Oh yeah, you can move this up a little bit more. Which then... You line it up just about freestanding, <laughs> just about, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's that's all right. 
Um, other things you, you can do as well regarding these, obviously you can pick uh, either one. So you get an Autobot and a Decepticon kind of looking one. Um, and they should have, I think, the same kind of notches on them. Uh, so this one kind of goes the same way. Uh, so they're quite clever, the kind of little fists fold in and go in here. Uh, these bits peg in at the top here. So this one's kind of got like two modes really. It's kind of got the, well three I guess, the kind of bat, um, the kind of cog bit. Um, and you see you've got these bits on either side. Oh, actually those are different. So in this, in this way, can you peg it into here? Ah, so the pegs on here are different. So you can't peg them in, in this mode, only in the um, other mode. But um, there you are, you kind of got his kind of like bat mode, if you like. So you've got, uh, it's got like a little head here. It's painted blue, sculpting's pretty good and some kind of gunmetal grey paint in here um, and then the wings kind of flap a little bit like that um, they are quite thin so I would be careful especially moving these around that you don't damage anything and then you kind of got this kind of chrome paint on here which looks nice um, and in kind of power master mode it's kind of like that and then if you're gonna have him as they're kind of more of a robot bat thing. You just fold these out like that. And then you've got them like that. And they are good. Their heads kind of move side to side. The arms are on uh, kind of ball pegs. And you can get articulation at, at the elbow there. And you get a bit of movement out. And the legs can go all the way forward and back and out to the side. And the knees bend back like that as well. So yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Um, and that's kind of the look from the back. And kind of the same with uh, this guy here. Oh, just as a bit of a thing here, you can see how the two kind of look side by side. The purple is pretty close. Um, they've chose yellow paint on this as opposed to this. I know it's a kind of a different look that you've gone for, but just to show you. Uh, and there's the, the Autobot version. This one's obviously done as a tape. And again, the colours are nice. Uh, and then this one's a little bit more straightforward in terms of folding everything out. Um, but really cool looking figure. The paint on the on the face has got two kind of lots of blue in there and blue on the back here. There's a little bit of oversprays and and things in here on the back, but um, yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. And then if you want to kind of get him compatible with this bit here, there's a bit that you can lift up and you can have him kind of sitting in here. But just to show you. All around the vehicle, you get rubber tires, silver and red paint on here. As I mentioned, rolls nicely. You get the blue paint in here, purple. Um, the, lots of like little green um, bits of paint and red around here. It's just really nicely done, and you know the colours and the look of it is the same. I will just bring in the um, the Hasbro version here side by side so you can see the difference in the size between them and obviously the, the rockets much bigger there's a lot more probably sculpting work on the Hasbro version compared to this one but uh, yes yeah, so, so this one kind of looks a little bit cleaner in that respect um, and then just to do this you kind of fold this bit up I've probably forgotten to to do that actually is part of the transformation actually when I was doing it so this actually comes in and folds down to fill in that space so there's a bit of transformation there that I forgot um, and then all you do is yeah I think you just open this bit up 
and just let him sit in there from what I can remember. Ah, yeah, I think this bit rotates around like that. And how did I have him sat in there? I kind of did it as an angle that last time. I kind of had him sat in like that. I kind of pulled him through and did it like that. Yeah, there you go. So he sits in there and then you just plug everything back in. And you kind of got him sat in the front there and then you can just peg that back on like that. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Anyway, I spent uh, far too long uh, going through this. Uh, and then what we'll do now is take everything off and uh, we'll get him transformed into his robot mode. Okay, so first thing I've done is taken away uh, this and the little dude here. And uh, we're actually going to transform into his robot mode. There's two versions of that. So we kind of start off with the more kind of like Autobot looking one. Um, so there's various different things. I kind of start by kind of undoing these bits on the side here. This bit is all going to want to come apart here. So you want to take these bits off here as well. Kind of move them out of the way as much as you can really. And then these bits will open up. Just down at the bottom here, like that. Just cover these bits here, like that. And then you're just gonna kind of move these bits out here, which will allow you to move the leg out like that. Just give yourself a bit of room, like that. Um, the crotch piece is facing the right way around, so you've got that. Okay, I'm just going to lift it up ever so slightly. Um, and then what you want to do is you're going to have these wheels coming around and facing around the other way. So you want to rotate it around like that, like so. Uh, these bits are going to fold in and go in that like so and then on this side here all of this is going to end up being the foot so what you end up doing with this one is if I can remember properly yeah it falls out like that This, this bit folds in, comes back round to there. Uh, does that bit come back round? Yeah, that comes back into there like that. And then that ends up being one of the feet. <laughs> so it's quite clever the way they've done that. Uh, so then you've got one of the feet. Um, yeah, you have just have to make sure that you've got everything the right way around. But I think... According to the instructions, I, I do, because you've got, it shows these kind of bits on the inside. So if you're ever not sure, just kind of refer back and just double check that everything's right. So this bit kind of gets folded in, these bits kind of extended out, and then you're going to twirl that back around. And then on this side here, you're going to peg that bit back in, and then move this bit back into there. Uh, and then from here, uh, what you're going to do is kind of extend this bit back out, uh, fold this bit around like so. Uh, this bit is going to fold around and go into here like that. Uh, and then this bit in here should peg into those gaps in there like that. And then you just rotate the foot around like that and like that. And then you've got yourself kind of the bottom half done and then just move out the legs here. Kind of got this top section sorted out and then we can move on to the, the bottom half. I can just readjust the camera. Right, so we've got the bottom half done. So that's good. 
and next we can concentrate on this top half. So I'm just going to readjust the camera and just point that up. And you can see we've got the head hiding around here. Um, so you want to kind of move these bits out of the way here, like that, and like that. Uh, this section here is going to come out like that. You've got the arms in here, so they'll just move forward like so. Uh, these bits I seem to remember kind of come back. So you see the wheel come come back there again like that. That'll just allow you to then to be able to fold these out and into that gap like so. And then you should be able to do that like so. And then this these arms should be able to rotate up like that and then this should fold out and you'll be able to fold the hand out like so and rotate the arms around just to get the fists out on either side like so there we go Uh, duh, duh, duh. This bit will come up like that, and you can see there's little tabs underneath where you can fold those red bits out like that, and then you bring this back up into that space like so. Um, you've got the space in here for your micro, not your micro master, your power master. So again, we're going to do the thing where we're just going to transform him. And you rotate these little legs round, and as you bring that forward, there's a gap in there which the fist will go into, and then a connection for the shoulder into the foot, like that. And then the same on the other side, like that. And then you use these connection tabs just in here. You can lift this up just to make things a little bit easier. And then it's just a case of applying a little bit of pressure just to tab him in. If I've done that right here. Doesn't feel like that's tabbed in very well that time. I'll tell you what, I don't know if these bits have got anything to do with it. Um, so it might be I need to move the head back round. So we'll come back to that actually. Um, and we'll just sort out the head, which as you can see is, we've got the Decepticon head on here at the moment. Uh, and the Autobot head is kind of underneath. Um, so what you want to do is get this out of the way. And then the Autobot head is underneath. So this bit will fold forward, it says, there we go, fold forward and the head comes out and it swivels out like that and then pushes back into that space there and this bit will peg into the here like that. So then you've got the other head in place. Yeah, these bits kind of push back a little bit so they're on a, like a little bit of a uh, spring as it were. But, um, yeah, I can't for the life of me re work out why that's not quite going in. That well, does seem to fit in better now for some reason. Yeah, it's not not falling down, which is good. There you go. So it's standing up okay. And then the next job, which is the tricky one is a case of getting all of this out of the way. 
So when it comes to that point, I'm just going to just check the instructions real quick um, to do that. So and work out what we need to do there. Right. So I think I've got to the bottom of it. I'm not sure if I did it the same way last time or not. Um, but this is how I've got it this time. Um, so you can see I've got half of it kind of done on this side. The head actually comes back and folds into this gap here um, and slots in there. So just to kind of like repeat things on this side. Um, so I'll just kind of mess around and and kind of do all this side of things. Like that. Uh, this bit wants to come out and fold out like that. This is going to come around like that into that gap. This is going to rotate, this whole piece here is going to rotate around. So you've got the purple bits facing up like that. This bit's going to come down. And then from here, you want to rotate this bit around here like that. This bit is going to fold into here. These bits fold out like so. Uh, yeah, out like that, like that. Now we want the wing bits out, don't we? Yes, something like that. This bit's going to fold over like that. This bit's going to come out like that. And this bit is going to come forward, kind of something bit like that. Then these bits here, I'm not sure if they clip together or not, but um, you kind of want them as as close as you can get. Um, I'm not sure about this bit, if it's supposed to go like that. You can just kind of have it like that. It, the instructions aren't ultra clear, but that's kind of what it looks like uh, from the side what it looks like from here as well. That's kind of how they show it on the instructions is that you've got these bits folded forward uh, and these bits kind of folded back. Um, kind of like that. So that's the look you're looking for. Um, and I think I showed it already, but this will then just plug into there like that. And then, oh, You've got your robot mode and there's a bit of plastic that's just come off from somewhere. Where's that come off from? That's worrying me. I don't know where that has come off from. A little shard of plastic. From somewhere. I don't know where. Oh dear. Um, yes, I've got no idea where that's come off from because it doesn't look as if there's anywhere obvious. But it was as I was kind of moving the arm around. Nothing obvious, as I said, in terms of where that's come off from. But uh, we'll soon find out as, as we sort of go through and transform bits and pieces. So there he is in his robot mode. The other thing that you can do as well is get hold of this, take this bit off. You can mount it on here on a shoulder. You can actually mount it on either side. So it's up to you. And then you see the gun is still going from earlier. Uh, you just fold that out and fold this bit out like that. And uh, what I like about this is how he holds a gun. The, the thumb is on a ball joint and there's individual articulation there. And then the hands, they are, if I bring them out, they are all individually articulated. 
um, and they've got ones at their base pin and then another pin there so they are all imagery articulated and you've got like a little groove there for the gun so all you do is you just slide it in that groove like that and then you can hold it in his hands like so and then you've got him shooting his gun you see that goes off and then just to turn it off press at the back and that'll turn it off yeah which means he's got extremely uh, secure uh, thing for the gun there and then you just slide it out like so so it looks really good um, in this mode and just to show you the little guy down at the bottom here alongside him So it's quite diddy and then if I bring in uh, one of the other fans hobby figures just as a comparison you can see he's uh, a fair bit bigger than the figures from the other figures in the line um, I will have to transform uh, him to show you the comparison against Double Dealer but here is a recent Hasbro figure just to give you an idea so he is kind of masterpiece scale um, yeah it's very good and then in terms of articulation and everything else I'll just bring him a bit closer so we can take a better look at it I'll just move this off you can mount it on either side the head is uh, painted and you've got red for the eyes and silver in here and I can move down up a little bit um, <laughs> kind of side to side because of the transformation and rotate all the way around I got a fairly serious looking face on on here um, and the arms they kind of rotate all the way around on a ratchet out to here either side you get rotation just above the elbow you kind of get a bit of a butterfly joint and that's more to do with transformation rotation around here you get a double jointed elbow that gets you up to there and almost a little bit back as well and then rotation here which is a little bit tough and the articulation that i mentioned in the hands as well you do get waist articulation which is pretty smooth and goes most of the way right does go all the way around but it, this back piece here does kind of hinder you a little bit i think you do get an ab crunch but um you're gonna squish your power master if you do it um so let me take this guy out you see what i mean it kind of comes forward at this bit here so I think if you do it you'd have to put this guy in and then just move the other piece around it so kind of move it forward and then move that bit in there and do it like that uh, and it'd be fine to then rotate it around and do it the other way um, and then uh, down to the legs you get these kind of hip skirt things um, on either side so they do move back and out of the way and that will give you articulation forward to there again on ratchets so more or less all the way forward and then all the way back like that out to the side again on ratchets like that and they hold up pretty steady rotation here and then you get a bend in the knee. Ah, I forgot to fold those back. Fold those back as well. Back to there. Rotation at the knee as well. And then the feet uh, will move this way, that way, all the way. And then out. There's like a little bit of a rocker there. It takes you out to there. Oh, it takes you out further actually. 
you can pretty much take it out as far as you want. You can, you can kind of like almost like remove it from there. So actually you do get plenty. So you can display them in some fairly dynamic poses. The ratchets are stiff, so you do have to kind of really kind of move them if you want to do that. And then just pop these bits back like so. Yeah, so you've got that. Um, these bits do pull back, so these wheels, it gives you the space just to fit those shoulder bits in. So if you find that they're not fitting quite in, just make sure that you just pull that, that bit back from here, just to make sure that these fit back like that. And I still haven't found where that mystery bit of plastic has come from. So yeah, he is a very look, good looking uh, robot in this mode. And then you do also have the option to switch out the faceplate as well. Um, and you get this silver version of the face, which comes in like a little baggie like that. And you can just swap it out. As I, from what I understand, um, is that you just, um, I think you just pick it out. So let's take a look. So I'm just going to take a look at the face. Yeah, there's nothing there to say. Right, I will just just going to double check how you remove that a second, just to make sure that I don't uh, break it or anything. Yeah, so the instructions don't really say, but it just kind of shows you that you kind of um, pull out from kind of underneath. So it doesn't seem to be any um, anything obvious. So I've just put this little screwdriver thing underneath it, um, and that's kind of brought it loose. Um, but it's not great because it's not like a, a really easy way to, to pull it out in my opinion. Um, so I'm trying to do it without damaging any of the, the paint or anything um, underneath it. Um, yeah, it's not the best. You see, once you've got a, like a little bit of a gap there, you can kind of get in behind the eyes and push it out um, but it's not great um, in terms of a technique for it um, I do want to show you the other face but at the same time I don't want to damage this bit here it just shows you shows you the head actually it just comes that it pulls out but um, I can't really um, I don't don't want to do it without damaging it so I'm just going to push that back in like that but um, you do get a silver faceplate with it uh, it looks like it's got the same it's the same sculpts just a different color so you've got that so I'll, I'll pop that off to one side like that um, and then obviously we've got the you've got the gimmick where basically you've got a, a different an Autobot and a Decepticon side to him. So what you do with that in terms of transforming it um, to this other mode is uh, first of all you want to basically uh, rotate the wa waist around like that. So you've then got uh, these these bits around here at the front. Uh, next up is you want to rotate the legs around. So you've got uh, this bit here uh, facing the inside, like that. Uh, and then you want to rotate the feet like that, like that. So you've got a different look to the legs.
that. Um, yeah, I think that's that's correct. So uh, then you want to lift this bit up here. Uh, you want to pull this bit out kind of towards you. Like that. You want to pull this guy out. You want to pull this forward. You want to rotate the head back around uh, in again. Like that. And just pop them in. There, just push that bit back in, like so, and then the head should fall back into that gap. Yeah, I think it went in that way. Yeah, like that. Uh, then you want to get hold of the Decepticon head, which is kind of hiding in back here, like that. Bring this back around, peg into here, and you see I've got the those eyes back on here. You want to fold this down and then fold that up to reveal the uh, Decepticon head, like that. Uh, these arm pieces uh, more or less stay the same, but then what you'll want to do is get hold of the uh, Decepticon uh, version. If I got that round the right way, I think so. Yeah. Like that so I just I'm sure he's standing up okay so I think we've been through the transformation a, a couple of times on these it's fairly simple like that like that fold this bit in and then fold these bits in and then you can Plug in your Decepticon thing into here, and then you can plug that in there like that. And then basically, um, you want to kind of almost unfold all of this, <laughs> pretty much from from what I can remember, like that. Um, yeah. Like that, I think you then rotate these bits around. So you've kind of got the wings out a little bit like that on this side. That bit does peg into there. That's a bit of a tight connection. You kind of got it, these wings out like that. Yeah. And then you kind of do the same on the other side. I'm sure there's a more kind of precise way of doing it, but uh, this is the kind of way. The instructions aren't ultra clear on this, so I'm kind of also going off some of the pictures and stuff on the on the packaging. So. That bit folds out like that, sorry. And then you've got the wings, kind of like that. Um, yeah, so that is kind of what he looks like. Uh, and then the other thing that you've got, didn't, didn't quite have the same issue standing up as it did last time, but uh, Perhaps it's me if I've done something wrong, but I don't appear to stand quite as well in this in this mode as uh, the other one. 
to maybe it's to do with the way the the legs are configured um, so I'm not sure if I've got those right but it does seem to be right but uh, just not quite got the the tilt right maybe on those it seems a little bit heavy so then what you've got is um, this uh, backpack piece so again you can sort out this and you can kind of peg it onto his back so you can either peg it right in there back here kind of have the whole thing hanging off or you can just have this bit hanging off there and he can hold the gun again in his hand like that um, yes yeah, so it's it's pretty uh, neat looking uh, robot and it's a very cool way of uh, changing it up the head is very much kind of like dive bomb really um, in terms of like you've got bird this bit folds forward um, lovely kind of purple paint and it is a completely different face sculpt in here the arms and all that kind of stuff is exactly the same the legs are uh, slightly different uh, in terms of the way that it works uh, and as I mentioned that connection isn't kind of like the best on the back here but you still get the same in terms of out to side forward and back all that kind of stuff and the rotation there um, the articulation is slightly different in terms of how it's used but it's essentially there um, you, you haven't got this bit here but you could use that bit if you wanted to and you still get the rotation there and the feet are exactly the same so yeah in terms of it's up to you how you want to do it. I mean, you could do it like that if you wanted to. So you've got a different bend in there. Um, but everything I've seen shows you it shows it from there, um, as far as I can see. But I will just while we've got the figure here, just double check and make sure that I've got that correct. Just before I go ahead and do it, just because he seems a little bit top heavy uh, going one side. Um, so we'll just double check that that is the case. Go on, stand up. Right, so I've got him like that. So I will just uh, double check how they've got the feet showing in here. Um, yeah, yeah, so that is right the way the the uh, foot configuration, the sort of leg configuration on there. So yeah, it just is a little bit um, different in terms of how it's, the way the kind of weight is distributed uh, because of that. But you may be able to fiddle about with it and get it uh, slightly better than me. Uh, having kind of lean forward a little bit more if you want to like that. But, but that is essentially the other uh, robot mode that you've got there. So yeah, looking good so far. So there you go. And you've got the other option, obviously. You can pop this on his shoulder if you want to. Uh, and you can hold the gun in his hand as before. The last mode is going to be the bird one. So uh, we'll take a look at that one next. Uh, what I might do is just bring in a double dealer, the Hasbro one just as a bit of a side comparison in robot mode. Yeah, and lastly, just before we move on to the kind of last mode, the bird mode, is there he is alongside the Hasbro double dealer. Um, so you can see he looks size-wise. He's much bigger, bulkier. As mentioned, the Hasbro one, probably there's more sculpting on it. And you could say the other one's a bit more basic in terms of there isn't quite as much line work. But uh, having sort of played with this one, then played with this one, this one does feel a lot more basic. It depends what you're after, really, in terms of transformation. This one's probably definitely easy to flip from one thing to another. But this one is a bit more kind of interesting, I guess, if that's if that's the word. Um, the only disappointing thing I've had so far is that little bit that, that came off earlier which uh still haven't kind of worked out what that has uh come off 
So we may find out when we get into uh, bird mode. Right, so uh, next up to the bird mode, which will be the last transformation. Right then, so from robot mode, um, uh, this is the way that I'm doing it. The instructions show from vehicle to uh, bird mode, but uh, entirely up to you. So you want to just extend this, fold this bit down. This bit should be able to open and close as well. I find that this bit is a little bit uh, stiff, so you might have to uh, do some prodding to open the to get the jaws to open properly. Okay. Like that, um, and then you want to remove your power master from here. Like so, this bit you're going to fold these red pieces in, and that will move into there. The hands you're going to fold this in. Uh, I think it was like that on the thumb, maybe not, maybe it was just like that. Rotated round. No. Maybe I had it right the other time. That's all right. Well, with this bit, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, is that it? No. Oh, sorry about this, guys. Um, that should be the basic bit. How have you got the hand back in? Let's double check real quick, real quick. Da, 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 da. Right, that's the hand, get the fold. Okay. So it looks like the hand is in that gap there. Okay, right. Fold it back in. Like that. Oops, went the other way, sorry. Like that. So you kind of got all the fingers and thumbs facing you. Might have to readjust it slightly. hands cause me more trouble than they should do. There we go. Right, so that bit's done. Uh, next what needs to happen is the hands will uh, fold forward 
into these gaps in here. Uh, at the same time, you want to rotate these bits around like that. So they'll fold forward like that into that gap and just clip over the side of here like that. Um, like that. So like this. Um, and then this bit is the bit that's going to clip over. So it brings forward and then it just clips over there like that. Uh, and then these bits uh, kind of the hands, the arms don't really kind of fold uh, away as such. It kind of just kind of sit in there like that from what I can see. Um, so you've got the bird head like that. Uh, next up is uh, this piece here is going to rotate around. Um, but actually probably what you want to do is get the legs folded up. Um, so the way that you do the legs is that um, you have them so the wheels are kind of uh, facing downwards uh, towards you. Um, so when you've got the things down here, the wheels should be facing up. Uh, so uh, you have it. So this bit should be out of the way a little bit. So cut it like here and then get this this bit should be kind of out of the way as, as such um, I'm trying to think what's the best way to do it Yeah, because it kind of comes out to the side a little bit on this one. Oh yeah, there's a, like a hinge in there. double check this bit right so I've worked it out I uh, completely forgot you need to rotate the waist around so rotate around so uh, these gray bits are at the bottom and these bits are at the top that will then allow you to fold it around so the these wheels are out here and these bits are out like that so just to kind of show you It's something like, make sure, like this, no. This bit will be out like that. Ah, yes. Uh, so this bit has to go around here. Ah, yeah, okay. So this, yeah, it just, it does fold around this way, like that. So then you just kind of maneuver all of this round at the same time. Like that. Then these bits will fit into that kind of 
groove that's in in the middle of his uh, kind of crotch piece, if you like. Um, and then these bits should be kind of pegged together, you see. So there's a little groove in there, you see where that is. And then it will just kind of slot in there like that. And then you'll have to do that. So let me just get this all straightened up. Uh, these bits will then rotate around there like that. Um, if you see what I mean, like that. Uh, then these bits at the top here, they fold out like that. And these bits fold out like here. So I'm just going to get this kind of lined up a little bit better. Yeah, so uh, from here as well, um, you've kind of got um, everything kind of clipped in. So it clips in a bit better in here. Um, on here on either side as well. Uh, there are also some bits that come with it that hold it together a little bit better. So I've just got these here as well. So the way that those clip in is kind of like underneath. Um, so I'll just grab those a second just to see where they go. So you kind of got them uh, clipping in underneath uh, here. So it's on these bits here. So it just kind of fills in, clips those in and holds them close together and you can use it then for a flight stand. Uh, these bits kind of come in here uh, and fill in those gaps. Uh, you might have to adjust these a little bit better to make sure you're all tucked in properly, I think. Uh, not sure if I've got those all around the right way, but uh, yeah, I think that's all okay. Yeah, from what I can tell anyway. So I'll move those uh, in a bit. But uh, the wings are kind of more or less there. And then what you want to do is these bits are going to be the kind of feet that want to like come down. Um, so the way that those hold, I mean, on the instructions, they have these bits kind of coming in uh, a bit of an angle. Uh, but these are kind of like unpeg from here. Uh, and then what they do then is they then kind of fold down. So I'm not sure if I've done this the right way. Might have had to turn this in the wrong in the other order, I think. Yeah. Oh dear. So that's a lesson for you. Uh yeah, so where where these wanna be is gonna be where this needs to be, I think. Uh da, da, da. Yeah, so I've got all of this in the way. So I'm gonna to need to undo the work that I've done on the legs just to bring this down. Otherwise, I'm gonna to have to move it around. I guess what I could do is actually rotate the waist around and cheat a little bit. I'm not sure if I can do that. Let's try that. It might help me rather than having to undo all the stuff on the legs. Let's try and see if I can do it that way. This might be a little bit easier. Looks like you can do it, so let's try that. So let's try and rotate these bits back around. Yeah, so ideally, um, not the way that I just showed there, ideally do the uh, the bird legs first and then do this, this bit second. But if you get stuck and you go, oh, uh, I've missed a step, you can do it the other way. Uh, and then these just fold out 
Um, so the way that these work is it's all kind of uh, hidden in here. So if we can get this out. Oh yeah, I find these quite tricky to open up actually. Hmm. Ah, there we go. So on this one I've managed to get it. Ah, there we go. So you get that first bit out there. And then from there you can kind of rotate this other bit out. Um, as I remember, if I remember correctly. Ah, no, you push it through, don't you? Ah, yeah, you push it through. And then open it up. Then this bit will open up, and there's a little flippity flap flap. So push it through like that. So push the purple bit out. And then these bits can then all open up from this side here. Yeah, and then all of this kind of straightens out. And you can kind of have that, I guess, however you want. Uh, there is a difference between, you've got like an A and a B version of this where the, the, the kind of the wings, I think, are all different. They're all kind of like in purple. Um, so that's kind of like his bird mode there. Uh, apologies, that took so long to go through, uh, but it is a, a tricky one. Uh, and then you can mount the missile on the back here again. So you've got the option of doing that. Let's turn this off. So this is going to fold out again. Okay, so we've got this which will a peg on like that, and there is kind of like a little bit of a gap for that to drop in. So it does, you might have to readjust the legs then to stand him up properly like that. Um, and as as mentioned, the the mouthpiece here um, can sometimes you might have to just get your thing underneath it, but it does open and close all the way up and kind of rotate around and and uh, not really up and down, but you get a little bit there. And then all these wings bits are all kind of individually articulated, so it, you can get it in various different poses however you want to. Really, uh, you could have it all kind of tucked in by his side if you want to uh, and this bit does kind of swivel up and down these bits move in and out as well and that's kind of like the view from the back there and then I think there is uh, there is another piece that um, clips on as well I can find where that bit is in, in and amongst everything oh yeah it's this piece here uh, I think that clips over the these arm pieces, I'm sure. Yeah, so it clips over those arm pieces and just uh, sits in there. Um, so you can use that as well. Um, so you can then fold these bits in kind of flat and like that, like so. So you've got two pegs in there. Uh, you can also as well, I think, uh, peg the the thing into the bottom there as well. Uh, I seem to remember seeing that was a thing. Um, yeah, somewhere in the instructions. 
yeah that you can also have the have it um underneath so there's like a little tab here on either side which then goes um either side of the arms here but as i remember it wasn't a great connection but you can get it pegged in there um, and he's kind of carrying the missile underneath like that uh, and then you can peg the gun in on the top like that if you want to so that's another look that you can go for uh, i think it looks better with uh, everything kind of mounted on the on the top that would be my look to go for if i was gonna display him in this in this mode yeah so yeah it's a bit of a pain in the ass getting them into this mode uh i think or as you well saw from the the video uh it's not something that you're gonna do all time it you know takes a bit of time transforming from uh backwards and forwards it's not that it's a complicated transformation so much it's just that you just if you haven't done it in say like for me, I haven't done it in a couple of days. Um, you are going to kind of forget those little bits. Um, but they are clever the way everything is kind of put together. Um, I don't know if there's a way that you can peg on the Decepticon one in this mode. It doesn't actually show him kind of pegged on in any way in this mode. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure how you would do that. Um, but he doesn't appear to be pegged in or show that you can do that so uh, yeah that's um i mean he is a, a very cool uh looking toy looks great in all the modes you get a whole bunch of extra things with him you get uh, extra face plates um there's lots of playability with him you get the the power masters which i keep on one cool uh micro masters for some reason but you get these which are, are great and cool to play with um, you get the battery options for this, which light up everything. It doesn't have light up eyes or anything else like that, which has been really cool. Nice rubber tyres. It's just generally a good feel about him, even though when I was transforming him, if he, there was a bit of frustration around um, something not going quite right, um, it didn't feel like anything was going to break. Saying that, there was like a little piece that came off. I've still got no idea where that came off from. There doesn't appear to be any broken bits, but I'll need to kind of report that on back. But um, yeah, it's a great looking toy. Um, the thing that I really like about it is that you've got that extra robot mode, which I thought was something that really clever, an extra thing that they didn't have to throw in at all. But it was great that they did. Um, and it really kind of adds to the character. So yeah, if you're into this guy, then uh, it's if you're on the fence about him, I would say he's definitely worth picking up. If you're looking to compare him against that, like Hasbro Double Dealer, I, it's very hard to compare because you know they're you're comparing apples with oranges. Really, they're two very different style of figures, and you know one's like a masterpiece scale and the other one's a chug scale so it's entirely up to you in terms of what you're collecting but he is a very cool toy and well worth picking up that's it for now guys thanks for watching see you all soon bye bye